This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, in this particular video, we will talk about something interesting about Cypress. Uh, one issue is there, but there are hacks. Okay, so you, for especially for some application, when I'll show you an example, you are getting some uh, service error or any 503 response code from the application or service is unavailable or something like this. In that case, Cypress will start failing over there. For example, if you run this particular app.hubspot.com, this is a website especially I'm talking about. So if you go to this particular site, so right now it's perfectly working fine. Sometime what happens is okay through automation, when you hit this particular application or this URL, it takes around five seconds to display the login page. And before that, it will keep giving you the 503 error. Okay, and once the application is visible, then only, then only, uh, and once the login page is visible, then only you can handle it. But Cypress will immediately throw an error. Cypress assume that okay, if your application URL is uh, from the backend is giving you 200 response code or any 2xx response code, then only Cypress will allow you to proceed further. Otherwise, immediately it will be failed. So this is a kind of frustrating uh, situation sometimes, and you are not able to handle it. But Cypress provides a solution for that. So how to do that? Okay, so I have written a basic script over here. You can see that okay, you can simply inspect username password and uh, you see that id equal to username and then for password also we have this particular uh, id equal to password and then we have to click on this particular login button over here and there is a uh, id also for this particular guy so i'm just want to fill this particular form with any username password that doesn't matter so i've written a script over here that uh, created one file hubspot login test.js so without wasting our time i have just created one script over here cy.visit cy dot get username get password get login and type this username password and simple dot click on the login button and that's it okay filling the form is not important but how to launch your application that is important now i'm going to run this particular thing through cypress so i have already opened npa cypress open and this uh, cypress okay runner and you run it cypress login test you simply run it and then you observe the result over here it's trying to launch the url uh, immediately it will give you an error <clears throat> because this uh, app.hubspot.com is returning 503 service unavailable the return code is status code is 503 and it's saying that okay hey cy.wizard this is a cypress error failed trying to load for this particular application we are getting 503 service unavailable from the backend which backend from this particular server where exactly this application is hosted and Cypress only considered a failure because the status code was not 200 or 2xx family. See, it's clearly written over here. If it is coming from 200 family, then only it will be proceed for it will be proceeding further. Otherwise, it won't. So to solve this particular problem, it says that okay, hey, you can see the view stack trace, and if you really want to debug, you can do that. It say if you don't want to don't want a status code to cause failure, pass the option. You use this particular option in your CY dot visit. Okay. Because the problem with cy.visit, it's not even reached over here to get method. Why? Because application is not even launched. I cannot see the login page, right? So to solve this problem, what you do, guys, is that you come over here and uh, put a bracket and simply write this particular thing over here. Fail on status false. And you observe the application that it's waiting. See, can you see that? It's waiting once again. And then entering the username password over here. And then my test case got passed. Although this username password is wrong, I'll show you once again. Let me close this guy and you run your application once. Just because of that option I have given, okay, that option is uh, fail on a status code is equal to false. And then you see the browser is getting, okay, just a minute. Let me just run it again. Let's run it again. Now, see, it's taking around. Look at the behavior of the application. It takes around five seconds to display the login page. That is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you see to prevent automation or something like this, some application they do it like this. So now it's absolutely working fine. And in the background, if you're getting 503 also, it's just ignoring that particular thing and then uh, ignoring those status code. My application got launched and it's still loading and then entering the username password and clicking on the login button. Although this username password is wrong, that's why we are getting this particular message. And you can see, okay, you're absolutely working fine. Your test case got passed over here like that, right? Right, perfect, like this. 
Now, let me terminate the Cypress from here and I'll execute directly from, from the terminal. So just clear the console and let's run it again. Uh, I'll say that uh, this is the command that we were already using. So I'm using HubSpot login test.js browser equal to Google Chrome. Okay. So let's see. Run this browser on browser equal to Google Chrome. So my Cypress is already closed. And then let's run it. Okay. So you will see that fail status code by default is true. So it's an optional parameter. You can pass it. Now you will see the application is running perfectly. And uh, see, it's waiting for five seconds. When the login page is displayed, then like that. But did you notice one error? When you run it from the Cypress runner, it was working fine. But when you run it from the command line, it's not working fine. And then you will start getting the error that, okay, we are able to launch the application. Everything is fine. It's saying one failure. It's saying that uh, type error. The following error originated from your application. It's not coming from Cypress. It's saying that, okay, cannot set property status or undefined. This is the problem. Most of the people, they will be getting this particular problem, but there is a hack. There is a, okay, there is a solution for that. Let's say that, okay, when Cypress detects any uncaught errors originating from your application, maybe any JavaScript error or any uh, status is undefined or I cannot set the property for undefined or status is null defined or something like this. In that case, it will automatically fail the current test case. It's clearly written over here. The behavior is configurable. You can configure it. You can use choose to run this off by listening to the uncaught exception event. You have to add this particular event somewhere in your support. So you have to go to support index.js. Remember, I told you support means you can write your common functions over here or some reusable functions. You can write it over here, which will be applicable for all the specs. It will be applicable for all the test cases and the proper documentation is written over here. Okay, if you let me copy this guy and then let's go to this particular documentation. You open in a new tab. Okay. When you open that, there are a lot of it's saying uncaught exception from your application. So how to do that? It's saying working progress. We will be adding more here soon. But for now, you please catalog of events. Okay, how to handle uh, uncaught exception. So let's click on this catalog of events. And it's saying that to turn off all uncaught exception handling, please add this particular block cypress dot on add this particular uncaught exception whenever there is an any error is coming in that case return false it's saying returning false here prevents cypress from failing the test any kind of uncaught exception is coming what do you have to do you have to add this particular cypress support index.js so you have to add this particular method in your support folder in index.js file if you really want to do for individual test to catch a single uncaught exception, you can handle it over here as well. That okay, inside this particular it test, you can do it okay like that. But better you write it like this so that it is applied to all the spec files. So what we have to do, we have to go to index.js in support folder, go to index.js and add this particular method over here. If any uncaught exception is there, please return false. Don't return true. Okay, now let's uh, run it and uh, let me clear the console and run it from here directly then let's see it's working or not so let's wait that uh, cypress is yeah launching the browser and uh, see it's waiting for a few seconds five seconds and then it will see absolutely working fine entering the username password and clicking on the login button and it's perfectly fine and now my test case got passed Okay, guys, perfectly fine. So better, please add this particular cypress dot on in your uh, index.js. And then for the first problem that uh, status code problem that 503 service unavailable, in that case, please add this status code as false. Whenever you see such kind of error along with your CY dot visit method as a comma separator. If you really want to see CY dot visit, you go to their, uh, okay, let's go to their APIs and uh, go to go to go to visit method see this is a visit method and along with the visit method they have given this particular options over here like that okay you can pass that particular option over there and you can see fail on status is by default true 
okay that you can make it false so this is another option it's given over it along with that there are multiple options you can see you can pass timeout you can pass on load before load log body method okay like this you can pass it's saying whether to fail on response code other than 2xx and 3xx that's it right so you have to add this particular option there how will you add it comma and then you have to add it over there like that and you see some see if you really want to add any other option timeout option so you can add it like this okay like that you can simply do that in that case so there are multiple options if you really want to use only url you can do that over here as well like that okay so please i hope this is solving your purpose if you're getting something like this please add it so i really wanted to show you quickly that these are the two important things you can do that okay so thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video guys i'll be preparing more and more videos on cypress some really interesting videos are coming so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and let me know if you have any issues thank you so much guys